nothing can destroy a good friendship quite like a good board game can. So be sure to grab your dice because today we're looking at the top 10 best selling board games. To kick off our list, we're starting with a fantastic game of life. Spongebob edition. You get to do all the fun things that you can do in your normal life, like going to college, paying taxes, and working a job. Now this game was originally made in 1860, but the modern iteration was updated in 1960. So if you're playing with your 160 year old relatives, they might have some slightly different rules to play by. Now Hasbro had bought it and re-released it in 2002, selling just 45,000 copies its first year. But by 2015, it had surpassed 50 million copies sold. Now every playthrough of this game can be different, which helps it to be so fun and keep that replayability. Now look, I get it. You're in the middle of your life already, and you're just sitting there waiting for this ride to hurry up and end. So what if you go on a whirlwind adventure to a colorful land made of candy? Candyland tears into our next spot. Now out of all the games on this list, Candyland is probably the most simple, which is why it's so popular among the younger crowd. You just shuffle your cards, draw them, and follow the simple directions. Designed all the way back in 1948, this game sold an estimated 51 million copies since its launch. Now it's a pretty fun game too, unless you're, you know, one card away from winning and you draw the plum card, or in the Disney Princess Edition's case, Sebastian. If you're not a fan of the luck ass aspect of Candyland of just waiting for that right card to come out. How about we play a guessing game? No, it's not Goldfish. We're talking about Battleship. Originally starting in the 1930s and played on paper with pencil, Milton Bradley published a board game version in 1967. Since then, the game has evolved a lot over the years, currently sitting around 100 million units sold. There's just something about sending your sibling's fleet to a watery grave that makes this a classic. Now here's a game that takes some knowledge. Trivial Pursuit was originally made by two Canadian journalists who modified a Scrabble game to create something new entirely. By 1984, this game had already sold over 20 million units. In 2008, Hasbro flexed those super deep pockets and bought the rights to the game for $80 million. And by 2010, had sold over 100 million units. Up next, we have another game of skill. This time to win, you just have to channel your inner detective. Clue was invented way back in 1949, with the goal being to find who done it. This game of detectives has actually sold over 150 million units. There's just something special about playing as a detective, which helps keep this game a classic. The classic word tile game itself comes in as a fifth best selling board game of all time. Invented in 1938, this game requires the players to use the game tiles to spell out words for points. Around the 1950s, the game had actually already moved roughly 4 million copies, but by the late 90s, it was over 100 million units being sold. By 2017, this game had punched through the 150 million unit mark and continues to be a popular addition to anybody's game closet. Here we have it folks, my personal favorite board game of all, the Friendship Ender itself. We have Monopoly where there's literally any flavor you could desire. You like Pokemon, they got it. You like Bojack Horseman, they got it. You like World War II, guess what, they got it. They literally have one for anything. Introduced as a game in 1934, but originally created in 1903, this game has players rolling dice, buying property, and trading money. In 2011, it actually hit an astounding 275 million copies sold, with an estimated 35,000 copies sold every single week throughout the year. It is estimated that over 1 billion people have played this game, which begs the question, how many friendships have been broken by this game. By far the oldest game on our entire list, we have Backgammon. This game can be traced all the way back to Mesopotamia nearly 5,000 years ago. Ancient copies of this game have been found in far flown places such as Persia, to Rome, to Egypt, and Turkey, and many more. Now, these ancient versions probably didn't play the exact same as we do today, but the dice, the board, the pieces, they're all pretty much the same. Back in 2005, this game had a sales figure over 88 million copies being sold of the modern day version. But with it existing for as long as it has, we estimate these numbers to be quite a bit higher. There's only two games left on our list, folks. Which one do you think is going to be the best selling? Let us know with a comment down below and see if you can get it right. Coming in next as the second best selling game of all of human history, 
We have it. You move pieces diagonally. You guessed it, it's checkers. Checkers is yet another ancient game on our list, dating all the way back to almost 3000 BC. Even old philosophers like Plato and Homer have written about this game. Like any old game, it has evolved plenty over the years. Fun fact, this game is considered weekly solved, meaning that both players can guarantee a draw with perfect play. This was actually calculated by team lead Jonathan Schaefer and involved over eight years of calculations. From what we've been able to gather, it's estimated that over 50 billion sets have been sold, easily making it the second best-selling board game out there. This is the game of choice for every evil genius out there. We have chess at number one. Chess is believed to have developed from the game Chaturanga that we all know and love from 7th century India. This game spread via the Silk Road and was on the rage in Europe from the 1200s on. This has actually received a recent boost in sales from the movie The Queen's Gambit in 2019. This film grew chess sales by 215% on eBay and up to an incredible 1,048% in some areas. Now, the chess market in North America alone is actually $40.5 million by 2022, and it sells over 3 million copies in the US per year. So we need to know, what is y'all's favorite board game? Be sure to leave it in a comment down below. And while you're down there, be sure to smash that subscribe button to see more content like this. Once again, I'm Dom from The Financial Fixation, and I can't wait to see you in our next video.